one last game to wrap. So talk about your defensive game plan. Now we said we have to try to stress them uh, high, uh, force them as much as possible to, to long passes and don't give them time and space. I know with Giovanni, if you get time and space, he will be the one with the final passes, killer passes. We have to close him down, Conway the same. And the work ethic was great today, the pressing game uh, from the whole team, and that's the key for the defense. Talk about the play of your center backs. I mean, Liam and Mendez seems. Yeah, like they did a really growing good job all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the understanding between them, I would say, the whole back four and midfield together, the two blocks, uh, the awareness, uh, how to press, how to slide, when to drop. It looks. We're, we're looking now as a team. And what about Lin Pair? I mean, it seems like he's always the guy that's yeah. popping up for big plays for you. Once again, once again, uh, I just hope he, he picks up now uh, some growing problem every week, every game now. But I'm not that surprised after 30 games with that work ethic and that discipline uh, from him all the time. So uh, I just hope he can uh, recover and be, be able to play on the Thursday game. But he's been uh, fantastic this season for us. The first half was like exchanging punches. What really changed in the second half? Sorry. Uh, um, the first half was like exchanging punches with both teams. And then what happened in the second half? Well, I don't think uh, Earthquake had that many chances in the first half. I think we had four absolutely. We should have been two up. They had some uh, half chances, but not more. Uh, I still think we played the second half very, very composed. We got the possession. Didn't force anything. We didn't stress. We got the one goal and we just get going. So uh, now I think we played excellent today. I'm very happy with this. How serious do you think Linter's injury is? Uh, it's all, you need to wait always 24 hours before you can take a decision. He had problem before this game, but uh, there's no problem to rest him. He can rest uh, four days now and just play the game because uh, there's no problem yeah, yeah. fitness-wise with him. So he just uh, had to get rid of the, the growing problem. Anyway, can, you tell about, uh, can you tell us about his leadership? He, he said he's, uh, he has a problem with the groin, but he really want to play. He really, he, yeah, they, I think he has to play. Estonian guys, they are, they are a little bit complaining too much, so <laughs> <laughs> he will be ready for Thursday. Yeah, you know, uh, I think uh, Chani should be ready for the Monday training. I also think Salou, then it's a question mark with Henri, but they will try to test him on Monday with normal, a normal football session. But I don't think he will be ready. He, he's been away there for three weeks, and uh, perhaps as a front the bench. But Salou, Chani probably. Hans, pl playing like you did on the road tonight, is this just the perfect way to start the playoffs? I mean, do you think momentum can build based on a performance like this? Yeah, definitely. Uh, because everyone knows we, we got hammered here the first game, 4 0. And we know it's a physical, very strong side, very direct, uh, hard to play against. They, they have a strong mentality. So this is only the, the first half. But it's a great, great start. And I think you can build momentum when you win away like this. And, uh, the way of the possession game we had. Were you happy enough with Agudelo's performance that you might give him a try in the second leg? Also? Yeah, absolutely. He's, uh, he played incredibly solid the whole game. Played it simple, easy, got hold of the ball easy, support passes, used his uh, pace in behind, his very strong 1v1, get, could get hold of the ball. Now he played excellent. I'm surprised that a 17 year old can be that mature in his first game, and it's a playoff too. What did you do to uh, neutralize the first one in the last game? I think it's more a team effort, uh, I would say. It's not because we don't have any marking system. We play a zone system, so the key is the back four and midfield together, two blocks that close down space. And probably that we succeed today to close down uh, Giovanni and Conway, the distribution to Wondolowski. I think that's the key to, to, uh, to control it. That we have a good record on the road. Well, we have a one goal advantage, of course, but um, what, what will be the key to preserve the lead? Uh, I have to go for a win. I have some nightmare games in Europe when we in the Champions League, we won away and we thought just play solid, get hold of the ball and you suddenly just, you don't move. And suddenly you have one against, you have two against and it's too late. I think we just have to forget this game and say, okay, we are at home, we have to go for a win. 
don't even think about sitting back and go for breaks. I think we're strong enough to try to dictate the game at home. Last question, if there is one. 